Hello, and welcome back to the rabbit's chair. Um, so, last week we went out picking wild garlic. So, hopefully you've seen that little hunt for garlic. A few other bits that we foraged, and um, generally just went out for a walk, had a bit of a reminisce of where people have done artwork in the past, and um, went out doing some foraging with it. So, this week we've been working with chickens a lot, and cleaning them out, checking up on their health and so we thought we'd bring you a bit of an update of life with the chickens. Uh, they're in lockdown at the moment, same as we are, they've got, um, we've been careful because of bird flu and so they haven't been out for about a month or two now and so they were getting a little bit poorly but Sally's managed to sort them out so that they're actually coming back to health and laying loads of eggs again so we can talk about that in a bit. Now it was a bit wild and windy last night, and so we were a little bit wet underfoot. Um, we've still got a bit of wind today, as you can probably hear on the mic. And um, so we're going to try and get down here over the next few days, get cleared up. Really want to get into the Frank Caravan, start emptying it. But hopefully we'll be able to show you some more of what's happening down here. Other things we've got on the go are Ed's still doing his bike up. So he's been working on it all week. And... We'll be doing some more work to that over the next few days and hopefully taking it out for a ride. So we might have a little bit of a ride around and show you what, what, not what it's like to be riding, but give you a bit of footage of Ed riding around on his bike. And we've also got a car to fix up. So another one of those nagging jobs that I've got to put back together. So I need to put the car back together ready for its MOT. So that's another thing in the way this week. And we may give you a bit of footage of that if it's really, really exciting. And I'm also... Again, this is very familiar this, this week. I'm very behind with these films for the Carousel Collective. So we started an experimental film and committed to doing one film a week each. And we'll give you some of the information about that as they're getting produced. So we're now into about eight weeks of this and I'm four weeks behind. So I need to quickly catch up with some films. So we'll give you a little bit of an insight into what happens when we're doing the films for the Carousel Collective. And in the future, we'll show you a bit more of the films and the process of really and explain the process of how we've we've come together over lockdown to do an exciting, well, playful project. So we'll see what else happens, see if anything else gets in the way of what we're actually doing and um, see what footage we can find. And let's go. Let's see what happens next. So, the chickens have been in lockdown since December, we're in March now, so that's December, January, February, March, four months, yeah? And they were really not doing so well. I was like quite worried because they're so used to foraging for the food and finding their own um, worms and plants and things that they need. The diet I was feeding them wasn't enough and so they started getting quite sick. So since then, I've... Um, well, we've done some research and I've worked out um, something that seems to be suiting them really and they're laying really well and they seem to be very, very happy. So, I'll go through what I've been adding to their diet. 
So this is what the chickens have been having. They've had turmeric, garlic, and because it's dried, I'm thinking I'm better off doing it the night before and putting the um, apple cider vinegar in the night before and some water. And there's the seaweed. And then apple cider vinegar and just pull that onto the pour it onto the bucket into the bucket sorry with a spot more water and let that absorb in so to the bucket i put some flames pellets there then you can, because there's about 40 birds you need about I need two large sheets of that again. And then and a scoop of the corn. Well, this mixed corn is what they used to have before and that was a fine diet for what they had but it wasn't enough while they were in while they've been in then we've been having the Sesame seeds sometimes. And over oh here. Yeah. I'm giving them a scoop of these. Dried mealworm. We've been having them, they're really high in protein. Making suits and them. everything they've been having in winter at the beginning of lockdown and um, we're having vegetable oil as well and the food so mix all that up Phoebe's got an egg. Has she got one already? Here you go. Give me an egg. Here, Phoebe. Good girl. <laughs> Come on then, let's give you some more. Come on then. So we're in the middle of mucking them out, bagging all of the compost. Thank you. Good girl. 
So that's a little bit about how Sally has sort of nursed the chickens back to health, what she feeds them now, and a little bit of the morning routine of feeding them. Um, we'll come back and have a look at Sally's work with the chickens and the doves in a bit. Um, for now, we'll have a check in on how Ed's doing, sorting his bike out and putting it back together and what he's been doing there. What we're doing here is we're going to be adding on the sissy bar and the pannion rack. This gives a little bit more versatile and a little bit more use and makes my pillion a lot more comfortable. Uh, as you can see it's going a little bit dark here so this video doesn't last much longer unfortunately but we have more that is coming. But then we move on to the bars which we tend to change from the Virago stock bars to a more cowhorn style giving that more cruiser feel and letting me kind of have a little bit more room to wiggle. We then add on the plastic on the back just because it protects the, pannion, uh, the panniers when I'm riding. But we'll move on to the next special thing. We've got a special delivery come through that we think is something for the bikes. So Ed's going to open it now, see what we've got inside. So that's it. Four old ammo boxes that we'll try and turn into pannier or we will um, use on the boat for storage. We'll come to the boat, we're going to have a look at the boat one day. First look to see whether they fit on the bike and how we're going to mount them. The bar there. Yeah, we can probably mount it there it's got this bit here. So it won't go like that. That's it, nicely. So that's Ed and his bike. Uh, we'll bring you some more updates of that over time. Now we're going to move on to the experimental performances and um, yeah, see what happens when we've got some costumes and some ideas. So we're in the carousel and I'm in the Elsa caravan and just come down to shoot one of my films. So hopefully get four of them done today. And um, so the next time you see me, I should be in my makeup. Okay, so I'm now ready to do my first film. Um, fortunately, I'll leave my makeup on all the way through all four. Hi! Please come right get the black. Hello, so we are now. Hello. Sally has now joined us. Uh, you've got me filming because he's. Uh, Johnny's gone back up to get the car because he's emptied it from our footage and now he's got his. Now we're getting it cleared off for Sally's footage. <laughs> Sally yeah. getting ready with Alice. Let's see you in a minute. Shall I bend down like I'm going to? Yes. Yeah, you're probably about. Do you want your tough fit? You know what? Yes. The seat. Sat here. Sat here. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's here? Who's here? <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> I thought you were going to put it back. No, I moved it. I'll put it back to it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? So we're about halfway through Sally's footage for the experimental film. And um, so yeah, she'll just keep going. Wait until the end of this bit really. Okay, next costume. So we're going to get set up down there. I've done half of the set. Uh, it's time to go down and finish off the next set. So let's have a look what it looks like when it sets up. And um, yeah, here we go. Whew. Okay, ready to roll. I'm gonna lose my wig in this wind, but never mind. We're ready to go. Right, as soon as I press my timer and press the button. Hello. Hello. What's up? You might possibly be filming backwards. What do you mean? Filming me. Am I? Okay, this time I'll get it right. So, it's quite windy out here. I'm not on selfie mode now. I don't even know how I've ended up with it on selfie mode, but time for my next film. Okay, so I've now got Ed with me, which is a good job really, because I keep getting all the tech backwards. So, I've just finished mine. Ed's in the middle of filming his, so in a minute I'll change my costume and then um, on my final one. I think Ed's got two more to do. So that's it for this costume. 
make one more film to do and um, yeah so quick change into the next film so I'll see you soon so the next costume right go and set up the shop oh that's me up to date with all of mine okay so whilst they're down there filming I've nipped up to get us all a coffee so Sally's just completed her uh, second one today Oh, and emerging from the paper Alice. <laughs> what do you mean by paper Alice? Alice. And then we've got a coffee come down as well, that's nice. Whoa! So, do you remember what your next one is? Our coffee break. Oh. On a very cold day like today where it's really windy. Nice to have a coffee and we'll catch back up when we do the next one. So there's Ed doing his next part of the experimental film for the carousel. So we'll rejoin some more of the films in a minute. More light? No, I don't know actually, spinning's not bad. So we're ready to do the next Alice. Uh, so the next one was Sally's portrait, as she keeps saying, and um, so yeah, we had to come inside because it's starting to rain and the Sally's paper costume is starting to get a bit affected by the rain. And that's the last one for Sally today, I think. So that's how we work with the um, experimental films and what happens when uh, we're let loose with some costumes and um, we're given some vague instructions to work with. Again, we'll talk about those in the future, let you know how it all fits together and maybe a little bit of footage of kind of when we're doing some of the deciding work. Um, so now we're going to have a look at what Sally does with chickens and doves. So we're going to look at some of her research, some of her experiments that she's done over time. Let's have a look and see what she gets up to and um, see her a bit more about it. My research doesn't always have a finished outcome as it is an ongoing immersive experience from observations on the farm. Here is some of my work from the start of COVID 2020.
that's it for this week. Uh, as you see, we got all our performances sorted out, um, ready for the next ones this week. And Ed's managed to get some more of his bike done. We will go out for a ride and we'll bring you an update of that as we go along. I didn't manage to get the car done, which I kind of didn't expect I would do, but, you know, it's got to be done now. We did a bit of work in Frank's caravan that we'll bring some more updates about over time. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking at the work Sally does with the chickens. We're going to bring you some more information about those and the work she does with the other animals as well, because they feature very heavily in her, in her research and in her artwork. Um, so, see you next week for more Tales from the Rabbit's Chair. <laughs>